Hoffman, Cosmo Morabio. On guard, on cover. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, we gather here today to celebrate 100 years of the life of your loving son, Joe Gasper, a family man, a fellow veteran who was among the first Americans wounded at Pearl Harbor. He is also a faithful member of the Holy Redeemer, Holy Name Society, and a founding member of the Special Activities Group. So Father, we ask you to bless Joe this day and to send your angels and saints to watch over and guide him in this life. Finally, O oh Lord, we seek your blessings on his family and friends who stay close to him and help him with all our needs. We ask this all in your name. Amen. And to you, Joe, we say, may your 100th birthday be as unforgettable as your wedding day, the birth of your children and grandchildren, your day of discharge from the Army. In other words, may this day be as unforgettable as you are. I think Cosmo spent time in the seminary and he just remembered. <laughs> okay. 1940, the war was raging in Europe. Hitler had copied, conquered most of Europe. And President Roosevelt came out with a draft. And Young Joe Gasper, age 22. I don't know whether they couldn't find a job, but he enlisted. He was not drafted. He didn't wait for the government to call him. His patriotism came out then. In 1940, out of basic training, he was transferred to the most peaceful place in the world. Guess where the most peaceful place was? Honolulu. Hawaiian Island. That's where he went. He and his family didn't worry. The war is in Europe. Our son is safe. Yeah, safe as hell. Anyway, on the December the 7th, Joe was driving a Jeep, coming back from his weekend training near Pearl Harbor, and the truck in front of him got blown up a Japanese bomb. His jeep was blown off of the road. And Joe's had back injury and back trouble ever since. Now the reason, what reason, you figure out of 16 million veterans, a million and 79,000 casualties World War II, the first one in this big country United States happened to be from our area. That's one of the first ones wounded. Almost eight o'clock. And the islands were raided by 351 dive bombers, zeros, dive bombers. And they tried to kill Joe. He's still alive. And out of the 351 pilots in their crews, I doubt if any survived. World War II, because it's the Battle of Midway, and you Navy men should be congratulated. Shortly after Pearl Harbor, the American Navy sank four of the six Japanese carriers. So all the men that lost their lives were revenge, if that's what you want to call it. And, John, and Joe enlisted. He was five foot six. At the same time, our great American fighter, John Wayne, he was six foot five. <laughs> when Joe went to the Army <clears throat> enlisted, our great hero of the movies went to the draft board and got deferred. You've seen many war movies with John Wayne. Back to Bataan, Sands of Iwo Jima, D-Day, but somehow he never got to wear the uniform except making millions of dollars. And Joe got a job making $21 a month. Once a month. 
That's what we got paid then. I introduce family members here. Now, a memory of Dolly, Rosemary, Joe's wife. She died in 2006. I grew up with her. She was such a great person. Okay, there's Joe. There's Peggy. Oh, Peggy and Bill, Roberta and John, and the grandchildren, and John, the son, is he here? Ronnie. Oh, Ronnie, okay. <coughs> Got it mixed up. The family could stand and take a bow. We appreciate But Joe is unable to walk, but the family has to give him care. You get a back injury, you live with it. And Joe's lived with it for 77 years. He's still around. And Joe, I don't think there's a Japanese left that tried to kill you. Okay, now what happens after Pearl Harbor? Joe didn't come home to sell war bonds. They went out to the Pacific. I mean, the war might look good in movies, but Pacific Ocean in those islands, he participated in. Temperature was like 95 degrees, and you were fighting with Japanese, number one, well-armed, well-defended, and with a will not to surrender and kill you first. So what the Americans went through, these men won the peace. They won the war, they won the peace, and the politicians lost whatever they gained. And we had presidents serve, and some of them really, like Kennedy, they served. Some uh, put up war bonds, they're a little different. And so we have presentations for Joe for the 70 years. He's been a member of the Holy Redeem, Holy Redeem, Holy Name Society, and the Holy Deem Special Activities, they started that about 1960, one of the founding members, and he still sells tickets. And I can thank him because I won 5,000 bucks off of the ticket. <laughs> and the presentation is from the Holy Name President, Bob Newman. <laughs> 